What's going on everyone? This is BLN437 here with another Battle Royale video. We're currently 4 and 1, let's get into it. So, he has Angel Khan, Dustin Pedroia, Troy Tulowitzki, Jonathan Lucroy, Billy Burns, Dale Murphy, Tony Gwynn, Eduardo Nunez, and John Mosgrove. So he has a decent team. He has two diamonds, two gold, so his bullpen is probably not as good as most bullpens would be during these Diamond Dynasty games, which is pretty good. At least I don't have to worry about a hard bullpen here. And let's see if we can see his record. He's 7-12. and 12. Okay. Okay, that's pretty uh, pretty beatable, I guess. <laughs> but it's not about the record. It's how well a guy can play. And sometimes records can be deceiving. So let's get this first pitch in here. It's a sinker inside to Mr. Angel Pagan. And here's the next pitch, and that's going to be a curveball taken for a ball. Angel Pagan, the former giant, now a free agent, but taking time off this year from baseball to be with his family. I respect that, and that's a change up, up in the zone. Didn't want that there, and he pauses the game. Ah, these pauses in the middle of the game when things are going crazy. I already, already know that this was going to happen. And another pause. Okay, so how many pauses are we going to take here, buddy? We don't have all day to play baseball, unfortunately. All right, well, you know what? Let's go back into this with a curveball that he swings and misses at, and I'm going to throw that to first base. Can't get him on the tag. And that's out number one. So now we have Petey up to bat, Dustin Pedroia, the, to me, Red Sox captain, now that Ortiz is gone. And we're going to warm up just, uh, Justin Wilson. And we're going to warm up Viseino. Now, he hasn't been pitching well for me since the the last two or three games since, like, well, I, I would say since the last two or three games. The first three games that we played, yeah, not too much that time as Petey walks there and we're going to bring in a different pitcher here we're not going to keep him in the game for too long we're going to bring in this and you know and hope for the best and hope he doesn't give up a bomb so here we go one out and that's a slider that just hangs ah that's exactly what i don't want to do i don't want to be throwing sliders right there as he pauses he is going to destroy those pitches if i continue to give him pitches like that and there goes a sinker outside of the zone taken for a ball good eye there and there goes that two-seam fastball, that rising two-seam fastball that got him for strike number two. And, yep, got him. Knew he was going to try to steal, and we got him. All right, come on, come on. So, fun fact, guys, when you guys are dealing with a runner like that and when people want to steal, you have to hold on to the ball as long as you can. Make sure that they're not going to steal from you, and that's going to be a ground ball to Edgar, and that's going to end the inning. So, let's get into the next. Now we got Kenny Lofton here up to bat. All Kenny Lofton does is absolutely rake for me. And that's a pitch fouled off. 0-1 count. You know what? I'm not liking this hitting view right now. I've been struggling with my hitting view. So let's switch it to strike zone. That's what I've been messing around with lately. And let's see if that's going to bring me some success. Let's see. I've been seeing the ball better with strike zone. Usually I like the old school way of playing the game with the fish eye view or, you know, the catch us uh, view in a sense. But... I've just been struggling so far, so I'm going to I'm gonna change up my view, see what this strike zone view is all about, see what people are talking about when it comes to this strike zone view, and maybe it'll help me, maybe it won't. And that's drill to right field, but that's going to be caught by the right fielder. Okay, well, that sucks. But yeah, guys, about the stealing the bases thing, just hold on to the ball. Once you throw it to first or second base and they're trying to run back, hold on to it because they're most likely going to try to run forward again as he brings in Brad Ziegler, and you're most likely going to get him out. And let's see if we can get something here. Okay, well, that was a bad pitch that I swung at. I'll admit that. That was stupid. Don't know what I was doing there. I should have taken that. That would have been a 1-0 count. But that's drilled to right field, and that's going to die. Not even at the warning track, but just to right field. Right fielder catches it again, and that's... Where was that? Where did I miss? Oh, man, my PCI wasn't really on it, but it was a good, uh, it was good timing. God damn it. And now that's drilled to the left field. A little farther than the other two balls, and that's going to be caught right at that warning track. All right, well, next inning. So we have Viseino here facing, I think, Lucroy? Yep, Lucroy. And we got him right there with a first pitch strike, high and inside two-seamer. And that's great. Well, he's up one nothing. <laughs> God damn it, what did I throw there? A sinker? Oh, slider. God damn it. That slider just hung way too much in the zone. Alright, well, we're going to bring in Justin Grimm. No outs, guys. And he's already leading one to nothing. That's great. And there goes the fastball high and inside. That was, what, 96 miles an hour? Nope, 95. 
you know, I, I wish you, I wish I could say that throwing a fastball high and inside would save you from opposite field home runs in this game, or just home runs in general, but it does not, as Willie Burns flies that out, and come on, grab it, ah, oh, come on, Kim, you gotta grab that damn ball, and that was just a hanging curveball, but God, you gotta catch that. Okay, another curveball taken for a ball, 1-2 count, or taken for a ball, the first one was fouled off, this one was taken for a ball, so it's a 1-2 count, looking for the strikeout here, and we get a pop-up, okay, not gonna complain, pop-up to Edgar, don't drop it, there we go, and that is out number one. So we got two outs, we're facing Tony Gwen here, and first pitch curveball is a ball. So let's see here, we have a high and end fast, what we're gonna try to see if he swings at. And that didn't go high and inside. That just caught the middle of the plate. We have Justin Wilson here. And I'm looking to see if Justin Wilson can be used against the next batter. Or should I keep Justin Grimm in the game? It looks like we're going to keep Grimm in the game against Nooney. And, God, man, come on. 3-1 count. We need a freaking pitch here. There we go. Nice little two-seamer inside. Now let's see if we can get another pitch low and on the knees. And, nope, that's a ball. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, we got Eduardo Nunez up to bat. We're going to bring in Justin Wilson here. And we're going to see if he pinch hits, I guess. <laughs> no, he doesn't use a pinch hitter here against Justin Wilson. So we're going to try to see. Oh, my God, no. Okay. I guess he's going to go back to first. No. Oh, we got him? Wow, we got him. <laughs> Holy cow. So he ended up trying to advance the second when I dropped that ball. Luckily, nothing bad there, and oh man, come on. 0-2 count, and this is what you do, Eduardo Martinez. I mean, Eduardo, Jesus. Edgar Martinez. Alright, we got Dante Bichette up to bat. And that's a sinker inside. Good sinker. Good sinker there. Not gonna complain about that one. Alright, up the middle. Let's go, Dante. Up the middle, single. And now we're in business here. We got our first hit of the game. And we got Wilson Ramos up to bat here. We're looking for another base hit here. I completely suck with Ramos. And that's drilled to right field. And, yep, I just said I suck with Ramos. And that's why. All right, well, two outs, runner on first base. Let's just try to see what we can do here. We have Hung So Kim up to bat here. And I might pinch it. Is there anybody I can pinch it here with? Like, no, I don't want to use Matt Holiday right now. Or Adam Frazier. Alright, so we're going to keep Kim in and just hope for the best here. Don't hit well with him either. And as I say that, he gets himself a single. Alright, runners on first and second. Let's see if we can do something here. This ending is starting to have some potential here. Where it didn't look like it was. It looked like it was going to be a dead ending. And now we have Rock Carew up to bat. Brad Ziegler is struggling here. And that's going to be a base hit by Rod Carew. And now we have the bases loaded. Runner on third base, runner on second, and runner on first with the bases loaded. So we have decent speed at first and decent speed at second and third. So something into the gap we'll probably drive into. Maybe three, depending. All right, let's bring in Matt Holiday. Let's bring in Mr. Matt Holiday, the one-gloved Matt Holiday, the Yankee Matt Holiday, the live series Matt Holiday. I'm saying it a lot, but... We get the point, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's a sinker inside. 1-0 count. Oh, and that's going to be hit to left field. Finally, a base hit here, and that's going to drive in one run. Here comes the runner from second. He's coming in. He's going to score, and we're going to send Rock Crew. Screw We're sending him. And he's going to score. I don't know what happened there. That cutoff man didn't throw the ball in properly, and it just kind of took his time there. And, well, that gave us three runs. So I'm not going to complain. Okay, he didn't bring in another pitcher. He's staying with Ziggler here, and he hits Lofton. Okay. Now we have Francisco Lindor up to bat. I'm assuming he's bringing in a new pitcher here. Yep, he's bringing in Aroldis Chapman, rookie Aroldis Chapman. So we're going to look to try to get a base hit here off Aroldis Chapman. And, oh, wow, nice play by the shorts up there. Nice play by Tulo, and that's going to be out number two. And now here we are in the bottom of the third inning, and let's just... Try to get something going here. Let's see if we can get something going here. We can get some quick outs, win this game, and not have to worry too much about this game. All right, nice slider, nice. So now we have an 0-2 count to Eduardo Nunez. And we struck him out. All right, 3-2 count to Nick Castellanos. That's what he brought in to pinch it for the pitcher. 
And we strike him out. He gone. And now we're going to bring in... Uh, you know what? Let's have him pitch so, Pagan. We're going to keep Steve Shisek. And then that's going to be a base hit. I was going to say we're going to keep him in the bullpen and try to save him and not use him if we can. We should be able to win this game with the relief that we have on the mound, but clearly not. So we bring in Steve Shisek, and it's a 1-0 count. And it's 1-1, one, one, two outs. We're looking for a base hit. Jesus, I said we're looking for a base hit. We're looking for a strikeout or, or an out here. We're not even looking for a base hit. We're trying to avoid him having a base hit. I'm uh, definitely paying attention right now to what I'm doing. Oh, come on, man. That wasn't even anywhere near his face or anything like that. All right, we're going to throw it over. He's been he's been trying to steal during this game. Figure we uh, try to get him out at first, but to no, to no luck. And now we have too low on deck. We need this strikeout or this out here. And come on, man. Damn it. God damn it. Thought we struck him out on that pitch. Oh, let that go foul. Let that go foul, Steve Shishak. Let's go, Steve Shishak. Let that go foul. I'm not going to chase that and have runners on first and second. And all right, good play there by Edgar to just keep that ball in front of him. And that's going to be out number three. And we win this game. Matt Holiday, player of the game. All right, so we're currently 5-1 and one now. We are now 5-1. and one. one win away from that gold reward tier. See what we can get. See if we can win five in our oh, six, our sixth game. And hopefully we can. Hopefully we can and have a good, good outing here. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Share this video with all of your friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next MLB The Show video, which will be head-to-head -head seasons and a roster update tomorrow. So if you guys want to know what the roster updates are, check in tomorrow.